Bank Negara says it regrets the Malaysia Competition Commission's conclusion that General Insurance Association of Malaysia and its 22 members had infringed Section 4 of the Competition Act 2010. PM had supposedly done so by entering into an agreement on the application of discounts on automotive parts and hourly labour rates for motor vehicle repairs by workshops on PM's approved list. BNM points out the arrangement was put in place through the facilitation and direction of the central bank. This was to address disputes between workshops and insurance companies that had adversely impacted consumers. According to BNM, the decision by MyCC may unravel the positive outcomes from past and ongoing initiatives to curb fraud, and this in turn will have wider ramifications for access to and the cost of motor insurance for Malaysian consumers. Meanwhile, MyCC has fined LPI Capital's wholly owned subsidiary Long Pack Insurance $5.91 million for alleged infringement of that act, according to a boss filing. LPI says Lompak believes that it has always conducted its business in full compliance with all relevant laws and regulations and will consult its lawyers on the matter. AirAsia Group's indirect 33% owned associate AirAsia Japan is said to have told the authorities that the airline is planning to end its operations. This was first reported in Yomuri without attribution. Bloomberg reported that the low-cost carrier, whose major investors include AirAsia and Rakuten, resumed flight operations in August, but demand remained weak. It had previously reported that AirAsia Japan was mulling suspending all flights from October 1st to 24th, 2020. However, on September on September 18th, Bernama had quoted AirAsia Group CEO Tan Sri Tony Fernandez denying speculation related to AirAsia Japan's operations, calling it rumour. But he added that the airline does revalue and evaluate all its operations at any one moment. Sunway Construction Group has been awarded two contracts from indirect subsidiaries of major shareholder Sunway worth collective 1.98 billion ringgit. The two projects are related to the Sunway Velocity 2 development in Churas and the expansion of Sunway Medical Centre in its flagship Banda Sunway. The first contract worth 253.6 million involves the construction of apartments, business premises and car parks with completion schedule for September 2023. The second entails the construction of Sunway Medical's four phase, comprising two medical centres, a 16-storey hotel suite and elevated parking. The group expects to conclude the project in August 2022. Malaysia Airport Holdings has appointed Dato Esmi Murad as its new COO, effective October 1st. The airport operator says Azmi will take over the position that had been left vacant since January when Dato Muhammad Shukri Saleh eventually became group CEO. Shukri says he is confident in his colleagues' abilities and that Azmi would help to elevate Malaysia's position as a strong aviation hub. MHB says Azmi is a long-standing staff member having started his aviation career in 1970 with the Department of Civil Aviation as an air traffic controller. He was also formerly an executive director at MHB's Istanbul Sabeha Gokchen International Airport in Turkey. The Real Estate and Housing Developers Association Malaysia expects the total sales under the Home Ownership Campaign for this year to be lower than 2019 sales figure of $37 billion. Reda VP Dato NK Tong says the sales achieved in 2019 were unusually high, coming in 10 times higher than the initial $3 billion ringgit target. Tong adds the timing of the reintroduction of the HOC was a little bit unusual, as a lot of time was wasted due to the MCO and the RMC. However, Reda was tight-lipped about the sales target for the HOC 2020-2021 to but said the guidance for this year's sales numbers will take its cue from the falling sales in the first half. For the first half of 2020, the number of property transactions fell 28% as the value shrank from $68.5 billion to $47 billion. While Reda President Dato Som Heng Chun agrees that the sales target will be lower, he is hopeful that property sales will pick up in the first half of next year in tandem with economic recovery. HOC 2020-2021 was announced by the government in June under the Panjana Recovery Plan in order to spur the sector. <laughs> 